Well, it all comes down to this. After 18 games spanning over a week, we're left with just two teams standing. The Central Florida Patriots and the Wabash Valley Warriors. Winner walks away with the first title in program history in front of the packed crowd at Simplicio Field. Patriots came to play early. After a Bradkey Laurie base hit, Big John Morant gets a hold of one headed for left center. That one gets down and Speedy Laurie makes it all the way around to score for the first run of the ball game. Very next batter, Correa. He gets one into play. That brought Duran around to score. Batter after that, Jorge. He belts one the opposite way. And it must have caught a breeze heading out to the parking lot or something because it just kept going and going and going and gone. Two run bomb, four runs for the Patriots, and that's our home run of the day brought to you by EC Electric. Warriors looking to get out of the inning after getting two outs in a row. Disaster strikes. Taribo. Hits a routine fly ball. Bonamalo Jr. settles under it and seems to catch it, but something goes wrong in the transition, and the ball is dropped. It's a base hit. Taribo gets into second, and that would almost immediately come back to bite the Warriors. After a walk, Bolin comes up, and he smokes one. That one's gone. Nine in just the first inning. Skipping ahead, 12 to nothing now, Patriots. Warriors looking to get rid of that goose egg on the scoreboard. Bonamalo Jr. up, one in play with runners on, despite Laurie ranging way out into right to make the grab. It would put him deep enough for LaRue to tag up and score, and that busts the Warriors out of their scoring slump. And because of that, we'll give it our play of the day, brought to you by Qdoba. And it worked, to a degree. Next inning. Say it with me now, it's the return of the Mac. Mac Mitchell shows there's still some life in those Warriors bats. He cranks one out to right, solo shot, but the Patriot lead still looms large at 12 to two. And frustration keeps mounting for this Wabash team. Patrick Graham's called upon to pinch hit. He gets called looking on strike three. And the Warriors head coach, Aaron Biddle, doesn't agree with that. He has a word with the umpire, gets a little out of hand, and he is ejected from the ballgame. And the Patriots are able to hold on, surviving a late Wabash charge, taking this year's Junior College World Series at a final of 13-6. to But, man, I, I didn't know they had that kind of heart. We haven't been in enough games to, to show me what they showed me. Uh, Thursday night and after we get 10 run ruled on Monday to come back and do what they did <clears throat> but <coughs> we've handled every situation um, getting beat coming back being number one losing to a team we shouldn't lose to <coughs> during the conference season uh, winning big and coming back the next day and not being cocky or confident so we've handled all those situations and obviously we handled night tonight well tired beat up you know without Bain Turbio still has a broken hand you know, we hit five bullets backside in the first inning. Um, everyone backside hits that were just crushed. We had a really good approach at the plate, and uh, and they did what we expected. And and thank God for that first inning. Amazing. I mean, it's been what we've been working for our entire entire year, pretty much. And I, we knew we could do it, but we had to come out here and prove it. So yeah. Amazing. I mean, there, there there's there, there's no better feeling than knowing that you're the top team in the nation and especially when you beat such a great team like Wabash and every single team that's here it's just it's it's unbelievable words can't describe it after the first inning I mean you're, you're kind of like we, we got a good start right here, bro. I love you pop, <laughs> the the best, pop, right pop. <laughs> uh, best experience especially baseball in my life um, I have no words this team has been through so much and I'm just so proud of everyone best hitter for Florida. Florida I swear he's the best hitter in Florida <laughs> Yeah, I'm just so proud of this team. Just coming through with injuries and everything, with um, guys stepping up when they needed to, just all around such a team effort. And, yeah, best, probably best baseball moment, one of the best moments of my life for sure.